If you're somebody that has bad credit and you're struggling with finding a place that you can rent and be approved for, I'm going to give you a strategy that can work in a lot of situations and hopefully it can help you find your next dream home. So I did say home. And so you're going to find that renting a home is going to be a lot easier than renting at an apartment complex. And the reason is, is most apartment complexes have management companies and they have criteria that basically they have to follow or they're going to turn you down. And one of the biggest criteria, as we already know, is your credit score. So if you have a low credit score, most likely you're going to get turned down. You're going to lose out on your deposit that you paid. And so getting approved for apartment can be a lot harder than being approved for, let's say, a single family home. And here's why. Most single family homes are rented by their owner. Um, and some do have management companies, but even with those management companies, there's less right criteria whether it'll prove you or not. And so what I always recommend is utilize the emotional approach. Write a letter about yourself and tell them all the amazing things as to why your credit score has nothing to do with who you are today. So talk about things like the credit issues that I've dealt with were because of a job loss and I'm back on my feet. I've never missed my rent. In fact, I can give you two, three, four, five years of history showing I've never been late on my rent ever. Um, and touch on the motions. I got a family. Um, we're clean people. We pick up after ourselves. You know, we're, um, you know, good people because of X, Y, and Z. And talk about if you were renting a home, what are the things that you would want to see in a letter to you that would kind of alter your decision to approve somebody not based off their credit score? And so if you utilize writing a, a letter, write a very long letter, um, find out who the owners of the home are so you can address it directly to them and really write the all your emotions on that, on that um, letter. And I think that if you do it right and you really, really just be transparent and honest, and talk about why they're going to get their monthly pay payment on time every single month, you know, um, especially if you have a higher income than most um, people, that'll work. But if you apply your emotion within a letter and send it to the renter or the landlord, um, you have a higher chance of getting approved based off an emotion versus your credit score.